Hello. The problem with natural lighting is it never looks very natural. I am not that red and neither is my hair that dark either. Now that didn't used to bother me so much until one day I was in that glorious institution of Poundland when um, a girl that I'd never seen before recognised me from having done the internet things and came to say hello and that's really nice and her mum was going no no it's not her she's not you know she's much darker than that for real and then I'm genuinely quite grey. Um, and since then it's made me feel quite self-conscious about I feel it's sort of I'm cheap I'm dyeing my hair by having bad lighting which and I'm not a hair dyer so it's funny isn't it how you get these perceptions of yourself and then um, things change and it's not important but it but it's to me um off we go oh symmetry we've been doing both in the maths it turns up and the nonverbal it turns up for the boys and it will Occasionally you get this sort of question turn up in the um, verbally kind of things, but not a lot. But the children are pretty rubbish at symmetry. So if you draw a line there and draw a pattern there, 80, 90% of the time they'll be able to get it right on that side, so that's good. If you do it there, and then you draw it there and there, again 80, 90% of them, they'll get it right. So that's not bad, but it does mean that sort of 1 in 10 children are missing quite an easy mark. Put it on a diagonal and I would say 15% are getting it right. They really struggle. Symmetry across the diagonal is coming. Just learn it. I mean, that's why Rachel's been going through, you know, the um, mock reports and things. She's going through them with a fine tooth comb, looking at for what's, what's difficult and then creating single subject booklets to go with these. And that's one of those. Um, but they are consistently rubbish. So with or without a booklet, just work on it. It, it, it will pay dividends, absolutely. Um, this weekend, touch wood, we'll get the Scholars course. It's all cooked uh, for book three up on the internet. It's free, it's available for everyone, so find it will be on the site somewhere at the front. Um, and give me some feedback about how it works in use. You don't necessarily have to have the book, so it probably helps, but um, there'll be a little video of me going over every question so that it's not necessarily the best way to go over it, but um, I think I have to tell you this. I'm sorry. Um, when I started, there was nobody at the front. We're in this sort of like shed chalet thing in West Wales. And the people who are opposite have started coming out. And they're older than me. And they have a huge amount of flesh on display. Huge in every stretch of the way. The lady's got shorts that go shorter than, than, than shorts should be decently now. And it's a bit, and it's worrying me that they think I'm staring here out of the window. Well, I suppose I am really, aren't I? It's all very awkward, very awkward. Um, well, no, it's not. I get a lot of laughs out of it, really. Um, old bead. Bead's 15, it's about to be 16. Um, and he's one of those lads who's tall, he's helpful, he's been sorting out my kitchen for me. He'll suddenly say, well, this needs doing, and off he goes. He just gets it done. Um, he's great with little guys. No idea what he wants to do when he leaves school. He's been regularly going round to the local estate to see if he can get work with the gamekeeper. But getting catching the gamekeeper is difficult. So he's now going on the paths where he's not allowed to go. Well, not quite. And um, and then he did get the sub-gamekeeper who said he'd pass his number on. Anyway, I digress. The point is, the... Um, he doesn't know what he wants to do after school and he hasn't got long to decide. He's, you've got two years for A-levels. Now, I haven't broken it to him that a lot of us, even at the tender age of 22, um, still don't know what they're going to do. But, um, so he's been asking different 11 plus uh, daddies and mummies what they think of their jobs. And you know, it's a really common theme. They're all saying, oh, about five years ago, I would have said yes, really go for it, but not now. No, don't do it now, not at all. And then you get this tirade of, of, of what's wrong. Um, mostly about what it amounts to is that nobody trusts anyone to do a good job anymore. It's all paperwork, you're all covering your back in case of being sued. And the cost of the economy, that's never actually put, but that, that's what it amounts to. Um, so if anybody's got a job that they like and think, yeah, I really enjoy this, can you let us know what it is so that we can point bead in that direction? Because he doesn't know, and how can he know? Because what a job is now will be different in 10 years' time, will be different in 30 years' time. Um, all ideas gratefully received. And then 
Oh, there's one final thing. Sleep patterns and teenagers. A lot of the 11 pluses are getting hormonal. Um, their bodies are quite demonstrably changing and their sleep patterns are turning into those of a teenager as well. They want to get up later. Uh, they want to go to sleep later. And over the holidays, that's very doable and that's absolutely fine. There's no reason why they shouldn't at all. But when they go back in September, if they're getting up at nine now, and then they're suddenly having to get up routinely at seven in the morning, so that's two hours going back. It takes them a long time to adjust to that. They'll still want to go to bed later because they'll have got into television programs and things that are later. And they've got into a, a nice family routine and they want to be with their parents in the evenings. The problem is, is by the third, fourth, the third week of September, they're going to be exhausted whilst they adjust their sleep patterns. Unfortunately, that coincides with the 11 plus. And then a week later, oh, good grief, the lady opposite is bending over. That was only that which her husband and her doctor should be seeing. Um, oh, I've lost my thread. Um, so we've, uh, yes, just, I don't know what the answer is. Is it to keep them getting up early and then they'll be getting tired and grumpy? So should they be having that, that rest of the sleep? But you, know, you see it again and again, year after year, third week of September, they're exhausted. Fourth week, they're getting ill. They're getting bugs left, right and centre. And um, it costs. There will be some children that fail the 11 plus because of this. No doubt about it. So just know it's in the mix. Keep an eye on it. Uh, don't let the children get tired, but don't let them you know, store up trouble. Ooh, have a lovely time. I need to move away from this view. Bye.